uh, it's very important that you be balanced. Like if when I'm playing, if someone would push my shoulder, I, if like that, it wouldn't knock me over, wouldn't put me off balance unless they really slammed into me. So uh, essentially, I am I am in in a in a balanced state because if you're going to play music and be creative, if your if your body isn't balanced and you're off kilter, you're going to have you're not going to play as well. And you're going to have more problems be, uh, down the line because your body's going to be rebelling. You want to be focused and centered. And you want to, like when I play, I am focused and I'm centered like that. So, And I'm not thinking about my posture. I'm not thinking about, oh, my right leg hurts or I'm tired. You know, I'm, I'm focused and I'm able to concentrate on the most important thing. And that Playing is the, the bass, you don't really play with your finger. And I say, how can you not play with your finger? Okay, what you want to do is try to develop a using your arm. Now, do you do all your playing with your arm? No. But, when you, when you, when you have your arm thing together, you're doing a repetitive motion, which is walking bass or playing functional bass, and instead of using these little muscles in your hand, which are going to fail, you're using the, your arm muscle, your shoulder muscle, and the weight of your arm. So therefore, you are not going to burn yourself out. Now that's what one of the questions was, like how do you have stamina and keep playing? And this is the way to do it. Here's, here's if you can use your, your arm more, how the, you know, I'm not going to play the same thing, but the same kind of thing. is a good way to practice arm. Okay, doing something like that, doing two octaves of all your scales and try to play it with your arm. It is not easy to do, especially if you've been playing for a while and doing all finger. Uh, I, I find that, that, that it's really difficult because it's what we call muscle retraining. You have to play for long periods of time. And then, okay, you play the, you play the head, saxophone plays the solo, the trumpet player plays the solo, the piano player. Meanwhile, you're playing the whole time. Bass solo! <laughs> you know, then now you've got to play a solo after you've just done a long period of time of playing behind everybody. That's a lot. You have to make sure that you, you really use your, your hands in a, in, in, in a proper way.